As David Bossy, president of Citizens United, former 2016 Trump deputy campaign manager, surrogate for the 2020 Trump campaign, Corey Lewandowski, former 2016 Trump campaign manager, senior advisor to the 2020 Trump campaign. Gentlemen, great to have you with us. And you, I, I just want to know, what was your reaction when you saw the unemployment rate was 13.3 percent and that the economy had added two and a half million jobs instead of losing nine million? Corey? Well, Lou, I'll tell you what, the American people reacted today when the stock market took off like a rocket ship again. Once again, the pundits have underestimated Donald Trump. They told us that there was going to be almost 9 million more unemployed. The unemployment rate would be somewhere around 20 percent. Clearly, the work that the president did with the PPP program and others to help those small businesses stay afloat has paid off, and those numbers reflected it today. What was your reaction, Lou, David? That, Lou, that's exactly right. The strength of the Trump economy is just, it, it's incredible. 2.5 million new jobs, a historic number. We've never seen anything like this. The president has built an economy that is ready to go. That's why we must reopen. That's why these blue state governors, they have to see the light for their citizens. They have to put politics aside because that's what this is about. This is about trying to destroy the economy well, so that Donald Trump is not reelected. They're using everything. They're throwing everything what do you think, at this president. What do you think the He's purpose... not going to stop. And, and nobody wants it. Well, I better not say nobody, but uh, America is <laughs> depending on him to uh, to keep going uh, and to work his magic. This, uh, but a number of people are trying to stop him, and some of them work for him. Uh, and I'm thinking of Mark Esper, the defense secretary, publicly uh, uh, challenging the president, uh, the chairman of the Joint uh, Chiefs of Staff. Are you kidding me, Corey? I mean, to actually. <laughs> You know, I undercut the president like this publicly. I understand about Mattis. Uh, you know, as the president pointed out, uh, he and uh, President Obama both fired him. Then you've got John Kelly, who he had dismissed. But I mean, this is nasty stuff to watch generals, former generals, and, and a defense secretary uh, make fools of themselves and trying to undercut the commander in chief. Look, Lou, we have seen the military industrial complex since the day Donald Trump went in fight him every step of the way. They have made a lot of money having these endless wars in Afghanistan, in, in Iraq. This president has said, let's bring our troops home. We know that Mattis and Kelly, if they had their way, they would keep troops over there in perpetuity. This president said, let's bring our men and women home. They don't need to be there anymore. And look, the generals love war. This president loves peace. We are a nation that, by and large, has seen peace over the last four years overseas. He wants to bring our men and women home, and they make a lot of money keeping them overseas. Should the president, uh, Dave, should the president fire, fire Esper, fire uh, Milley? Well, I think the president's probably had some very tough conversations with them that you're on board or you don't need to be part of the team. I don't, I'm not a fan of just firing them over one comment. They have done a very good job in those positions. Undercutting the president in a, very, in a crisis is unacceptable. So I think they're, they're on the team at this point. And five months before an election, you have to go to, you really have to go to war with the team you have. And that's, that, that's the team we have. And they're doing, they have done a very good job up until that crisis. This president is about law and order. He wants to bring law and order. Right. You see Joe Biden is, is the exact opposite. And that's the problem where we are in, in America today. How, how is the president doing? This today has got to be, he's, he's talking about the economy coming back, the country coming back. Uh, it looks to me like he has new energy, uh, and uh, this is uh, this economy is really a strong wind at his back uh, going into November third. Corey, you Lou, the, look, Lou, the Lou, this economy is th this economy is a rocket ship waiting to take off, just like we saw last week down in NASA. This economy is ready to go. Right? This is a this is something that's been pent up. It's been bridled. Now let's unleash it. The fundamentals have always been good. And what Mnuchin has said was, this was not an economic problem. This was a public health crisis. Let's let the economy, let's let people get back to work. Let's open up our businesses and let's see what Donald Trump has built. David, last word. Lou, we are looking forward to getting our economy back running. We're gonna have huge GDP 
in the next quarter. This is going to be a down quarter. We all know it. But you just met your question about November 3rd and what the economy is going to look like. The American people are going to have very, very clear differentiations between Donald Trump's economy and Joe Biden's economy. And they're starkly different. And we're going to see incredible growth between now and Election Day. And the American people are going to be able to make a very serious, easy decision as to what is best for them and their families, how to pay their bills, how to how to find jobs, how to create wealth for their families yep. and for future generations. David Bossy, Corey Lewandowski. Gentlemen, great to see you. I'm glad the, uh, the team's still together.